Some call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, you wanted us to do it, so we're going to do it tonight. We're going to be taking a look at Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1 and 2 deleted scenes. Now, a lot of people have said these dramatically change the films. I have not seen them, so I have no idea what to expect, but I'm looking forward to it. We've seen in other movies where some of the deleted scenes kind of changed almost the dynamic of the whole movie. Uh, you know, we might get knocked for but Tokyo Drift, uh, you, you got to see a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's you totally got, different. You got to see a lot more of little Bow Wow's character and how it could have, like, changed his whole character and the and the whole scheme of things. So deleted scenes so, make a difference. And obviously, well, we didn't read the books, so we don't know if this uh, captures from the books or not. So here's... So here's was, I'm still really interested in seeing this, see what it would maybe have changed about the movie. Uh, so here's the thing. Um, these uh, watches or these uh, reactions, rather, to the deleted scenes are by request from you guys. Drop in the comments. Um, so these weren't part of our original plan. The reason that I'm saying this is because the millisecond that I got home after watching <laughs> Deathly Hallows Part 2, I promised my fellow reactors i promise you guys i wouldn't watch fan theories i wouldn't watch deleted scenes i wouldn't watch anything spoilers i wanted my reactions to the movies to be fresh and i held to that vow the second that i got home i immersed myself <laughs> in fan theory youtube videos deleted scenes the difference between there, I, there was let's literally just say a burnout. Let's just a burnout say I spent a lot of time on YouTube <laughs> looking up all things Potter. There was a burnout in the studio's parking lot from someone <laughs> in their vehicle getting out of Anxious here. Anxious to get home. Uh, they, tried to, they tried to get their fastest quarter mile. But in. so in any regard, um, I'm kind of jumping in the role uh, uh, alongside so many of the people who are watching the videos and that I've seen these before, <laughs> and so now I'm gonna be like, oh, I can't wait. How the, how the, how the, how the turntables, I said that on purpose like that, um, but from the first couple episodes or wow. movies, me like, uh, yeah, all right, I guess it's a kid's movie, to I watched the deleted scenes already, I, I wanna watch these guys watch it, but anyhow, Deleted scenes, Deathly Hallows, part one and two. I'm still excited to watch them with these guys because I know so, they love it. So now them. you're taking the role of Mason Quinn for like the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies and, Basically, watching, yeah. and watching our reactions. I'm watching yes. your reactions. But I'm e you know what? I'm equally as excited. excited because, you know, guys, like we all got so invested in these <laughs> movies. And you guys know as well as I know now some of these deleted scenes. They're, they're pretty important. Uh, yep. So that's that's all we've heard is that they make a huge difference. Answer. Well, without further ado, let's go. I have lived in this house for twenty years, and now in a single night, I'm expected to leave. They'll torture you. If they think for a moment you know where I'm going, they'll stop at nothing. Do you think I don't know what they're capable of? You didn't just lose a mother that night in Godric's Hollow, you know. I lost a sister. Wow, that's a real different wow. attitude she's got than what she had before. That's heavy, isn't it? Super. It, it actually makes makes her kind of like human. You know, not the pushover bitch. This isn't just goodbye, boy, is it? This is farewell. I don't understand. The giant, giant green screen in the back. Oh, yeah. Harry. Absolutely not. Why? Why? Well, we'll be, 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 because he doesn't want to, do you, boy? Absolutely not. No. Besides, I'm just a waste of space, isn't that right, Vernon? Come on, Dudley, we're off. Wow, we got... Yeah, we never saw any of this. Wow. It's totally different. I mean, he did save him in the tunnel. I don't think you're a waste of space. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> It's like they totally took out any kind of redemption arc for the uncle. Yeah, <laughs> 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 almost trips. He's gonna step over the trailer. Okay, so far I like these. Totally different way of viewing the aunt and uncle. Yeah. Morning. Ron, it's me. Harry. Where's the mining? She's gone down to the courtrooms. With Umbridge. I understand, Rakanda, but I can't be a party to that. <laughs> Hello, Reg. I understand 
and Mary's coming in for questioning today. Oh, Try to have okay. faith. Oh. Don't tell me. It's raining in the Axley's office again. <laughs> tell him to try an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Are there elevators that actually have those oh, handles? So you would think they would have to in these movies. You know they're going... you're being tracked, don't you? Oh, he's letting them Is in. Is that a threat, Uncle? No. It's a fact. They're watching you. Oh. Early warning. Nice. Well, you have to figure they would have those, especially if you're going left, right, and <laughs> everything in an elevator. Yeah. So I just mean in, like, in real elevators. Oh, Dumbledore had a theory that the Horcruxes wouldn't be made out of random objects. And they wouldn't be hidden randomly either. We know of three so far. The ring, which according to Dumbledore belonged to Tom's grandfather. The diary, which obviously belonged to Tom himself. And then this, which again, according to Dumbledore, belonged to Tom's mother. It scares me a bit, that. Thinking it's a piece no, of... Don't... Don't say it. It's, it's taboo, you know whose name. That's how they track people now. How do you know that? I overheard oh, some bloke yeah. at the ministry talking about it. Tea? Is that it? I know. I felt that too. It's ticking or something. Like it's got a heart. Like it's alive. I hate it. It's like he's here with us. And that's why we're going to kill it. That's what I kind of figured out. Yeah, and I like how they kind of laid out the Horcruxes a little bit. That is the key. The flatter, the better. Lean back a bit. Get quite low. Flip the wrist. Whoa. Oh, oh you're really good at it. Yeah. So what? Kind of like... <laughs> 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 this is going a little sidearm nut. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Rico yeah, yeah. This is oh, nice though. Hey, hey. A little bit of levity, you know. So I'm back then. It's good. There you go. So what can I We're getting there, we're getting there. That's not bad. Three. Try and get a bit a bit lower. Just flip the wrist. That's it. Kinda nice shows them having a little bit of a moment. Just some sort of normalcy from mm -hmm. what they're all doing. Yeah, because they're just constantly on the run mm -hmm. at this point. Okay. All right, well, obviously, the aunt and uncle are portrayed much differently, differently yeah. with those deleted scenes. And, you know, that's something I always kind of wondered about because they were an aunt and uncle, and they really kind of had – their uh, their walls up or their guard up about you know Harry's mom's passing, who was obviously her mm -hmm. sister, and that was kind of weird that they never mentioned that. And you know, I I gotta say, I wish they would have left uh, these deleted scenes in. I mean, I guess you could say maybe they could have left out the one uh, with Dudley, but then even then, or I'm sorry, is it, oh, yeah, Dudley. Dudley. Okay, it's, it's, Harry's going crazy on me here. Yeah. Um. No, and that was good to show him, like, hey, you saved me in the tunnels, you know, at least yeah. shake your hand and acknowledge it. So, yeah, I mean, once again, it wasn't like it was a lot of material to to leave out, you know, what we have six, eight minutes, and uh, would have definitely made a big eight, difference. Eight minutes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I liked it because, like I said, it, it humanized the on uncle, you know, kind of really brought it back. Dudley, of course, you know, thanking him for, well, in his own way. Yeah. And he didn't come out and fully say it, but, you know, he, you're not a waste of space to me, Harry, and yeah. shook his hand. And, you know, it's like the uncle, it seemed like he wanted to maybe do something, but he's like, we got to get out of here. You know? Yeah, and he was like ticking clock kind but, of thing. Yeah, I love that. But it, And then I just, I love the stone skipping spot because that brought some normalcy that, of course, of everything going on all around mm -hmm. them. They have this little brief moment. I mean, that maybe they took it out because they had that dance scene or something yeah, or, in there. Or maybe they but, wanted to keep the pressure on and they want to keep that that tension just building the whole time of them constantly being on the run yeah, and constantly could, in fear. Maybe that's what they wanted. That could easily be. Or And then um, I like that he, he tipped them off, that he, he was being followed. Yeah. So, I mean, they're all pretty good scenes. I, I really enjoyed them. I wish they would have kept kept almost all of them in. Yeah. But, but then this way they can surprise you with stuff. That's true. 
So, Ulk. Uh, yeah, you know, they, yeah, so I've, I've watched these a few times in different I, uh, different deleted scenes, YouTube videos, um, and, and other, um, not just reactors, but other people who, you know, have movie channels and some who focus mm-hmm. on uh, more on the, the Harry Potter verse um, talk about this. And it was, it, I loved the, all the movies, but I really wish they would have kept in the scene with the ant and yeah. with, uh, with Dudley. Um, <clears throat> I'll start with those two. But, you know, the, the thing is with the ant is she's, she's very right. Like, you know, there's so much focus in these movies about Harry losing his parents. But it's like she lost a sister, and that's heavy. And that's not talked about at all mm-hmm. throughout the course of the movies. I yeah. mean, we know it's his aunt and his uncle, but they're just portrayed as these jerks who are, you know, kind of treating him like crap yeah, the whole didn't time. Yeah, who was the aunt, who was the uncle, who was the brother, sister to which parent. Yeah, you know, and the yeah. thing is, is that there's a couple different ways. Like, you know, I were to, I, I know, you know, like I, I'm my brother's, one of his son's godparent and, and the vice versa. My brother is my son's godparent. And if anything ever happened to me, um, you know, I, I fully I, I trust with every fiber of my being that my brother would look after them the best that he could and vice versa. And it's hard to watch this and like look back and think like, how could they treat Harry like that if that was her sister's son? Mm-hmm. And the only thing that I could think, and I think um, the discussion that other people had is that Harry's birth and him being, you know, the chosen one, you know, kind of the reason why his 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 mother died. And yeah, so she, she lost oh, a sister because because of um because of Harry, which is still harsh that, you know, even y- you'd like to think that you still wouldn't put that sort of pressure or treat a child that way because of that. But I think it's kind of just this resentment that she doesn't want to have. And it's a sad moment for the Dursleys as well. She makes it look, <laughs> you're living in your house for 20 years and you have to just pack up and leave in this place mm-hmm. that you've made all these memories. So, Andrew, you used just a spot on word and it really humanized um, a family that that we just kind of love to hate. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> the scene... You know, and thought were the goofballs and all this other stuff. And it, she has a serious moment. Yeah. yeah. You guys have heard me talk once or twice about lessons. <laughs> um so Twice. um the Dudley scene I would have really liked to have been left in too because I think that really highlights like you know you do some stuff when you're kids mm-hmm. even if you're not like a full blown bully I think at some point or another we've all maybe picked on somebody or made jokes about somebody and you don't have to be like this like stereotypical bully to have had some moments in your life where you didn't treat people maybe the way you should and I think this was a, a a moment for Dudley. He's a little bit older, and you start getting older, and you start realizing. I mean, I mean you have memories of the stuff you did, and he started realizing like maybe I was a jerk, and you start feeling bad about yeah. it. And this was his way of telling Harry, like, "Hey, look, I've matured." You know, he he doesn't say, "Look, I feel bad about all the stuff," but he tells him, "Like, I don't think you're a waste of space." And granted, that's not the most endearing. Like, I don't it's think you're a waste of space. For him. But yeah, but when <laughs> but you look his, at, but in his own way. But exactly, in his own way, and when you look at how poorly Dudley treated him, and, and I think um, it was a really powerful moment. Um, I haven't, I, I don't know that I've, I've talked about this much. When I, I was, was never a bully, and I know we've talked about this. When I was in fourth grade, and it sits with me, um, and you guys haven't heard this story, and very few people have, but I'm going to tell it because it relates to this Dudley scene. We had a kid in my class in fourth grade. He was a new kid, and he believed in Santa Claus in fourth grade. We all, I mean, fourth grade's kind of old to believe in Santa. And kids kind of picked on him, and I never did. And I kind of got, and I was always, I was never a bully. I kind of got pushed into, like, somebody who thought it would be, people thought it would be funny if I punched him in the stomach. New kid at school. This is hard for me to talk about. It's kind of whatever. Northwest Stairs of St. I, it's, it's weird that fourth grade, I remember this, like, whatever. The Northwest Stairs of St. John's Little Sh- Middle School in Little Shoot, Wisconsin. And I couldn't go through with it. And there was people watching, so I gave him, like, this half-ass punch in the stomach because I couldn't actually punch him, but I still kind of did a little, Mm. like, you know, like, not hard enough to do anything just because I couldn't go through with it. And I'm 42 years old, and I remember that moment from when I was 10. And it's stuff that lives with you, and so you do stuff when you're young that, like, weighs on you, you know what I'm saying? And Mm -hmm. I think this is what that was representing. You have a maturing Dudley with a lot of stuff that he did to Harry when he was young, weighing on him and 
when dad said, this is goodbye forever, this is your moment to say something. And I think it was a really powerful moment that even though it wasn't the most eloquent way of saying, I'm sorry for how I treated you, he did. And now for the rest of Dudley's life, he knows that at least he said he's sorry. And uh, I think the lesson is if you have an opportunity and you've done some stuff in your past um, to make amends, even if it's just calling, telling somebody you're sorry, what, what did we see it in a, we saw it in Billy Madison. Yeah, that's right. He got on the phone in Billy Madison <laughs> and he felt bad. And Veronica Vaughn said, maybe you picked on some people. And he, he uh, ended up saving him. <laughs> but right. uh, that was that was a lesson I got right. from that. You know, like we, we can all change. But if you do change, it's important to make amends for the things that you did wrong. And Dudley did that. I Most of these scenes, like the skipping rock scene, I think was important because within all the drama they were going through, you guys absolutely nailed it again. It showed like they still had some some lighthearted moments where they were just being young adults. Ron saying that Voldemort is how they track people, I thought was really good um, because it helps understand why it was always he whose name we shall not say. Yeah, if you it. said Voldemort, they knew where Stop. you. He knows where you. Yeah, he knows where yeah, you. Yeah, it were. wasn't just like a fear thing that you're yeah. afraid of. So it was. A, it was. A, um, it was an, a piece of information I would have liked to seen, but it's not as heavy for me as um, with Petunia or with Dudley. Mm -hmm. Um, so if for, for all these deleted scenes, if I could, you know, pick a few that I think were, were things that really should have been left in and would have, you know, drastically changed how people think about the Dursleys, I think they should have been left in. So again, um, you know, loved the movies, but in hindsight, I think, uh, I think this is stuff they should have left in. Yeah. And you know, and especially the scene with the ant, because, you know, we jump into the series when Harry's like 10 or 11 yeah. and everything's kind of going on. We forget Living that he's been stairs. there since he was a baby mm -hmm. and she had to take care of him and feed him and raise him and do all mm -hmm. that. And this whole time, like you said, she's thinking about her sister and I'm taking care of this baby. Who's the reason that my sister's gone. I mean, that's, that's pretty heavy duty stuff. That's very heavy and, stuff. and they don't, it's not mentioned in the movies and it is nice that they had it at least in the deleted scene to explain it. So, yeah. yeah. And, and, and waiting, look, the, these movies matured significantly and the, the weight and the gravity of the, the plots, um, became, you know, significantly more mature or advanced in the later movies. So this was stuff that I think would have been a little bit heavy to have something like this in the earlier ones. But I definitely think by the time mm -hmm. we got to, you know, part seven, this could have been left in and it would have fit very well with the, you know, the maturity of the films and everything going on in them. So, um, great scenes, wish it would have been left in. Yeah. yeah. So there you have it. There's part one. Now time for Deathly Hallows part dos. So you've seen it obviously. Now, what are we to expect on this one? So now that we've seen what happens in part one, I'm, I'm expecting more of like some more like background stuff, yeah, some story more. twists, story yeah. twists, maybe like giving them a heads up. Don't on something he doesn't want to say there. anything. There's, a, oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, I'll say this. My only spoiler. It's bigger than this. All right. So why discuss it? Let's just watch it. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go. Part two. How do we know what it is when we get in there? All crutches can be anything. I'll, I'll know. I don't know how to explain it. But I'll know. This is the closest I could find to what you described. Perfect. Oh. You're leaving, aren't you? In the morning. And Griphook? He's coming with us. Listen, I know goblins. If you struck any kind of bargain with Griphook, you must be exceptionally careful to live up to it. If you don't, he won't be forgiving. Well, he sells them out anyways. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that dude was sketchy. Oh, ah. come on. The sky has lost a star. My father used to say that when a child died. Jeez. Only how Mr. Darby knew exactly where to find us. Hogwarts. It's not the place you left, you know. It's not the same. Neither am I. Always good value. I'll miss her. What do you think? I wouldn't know you if I didn't know you. What? Are you going to tell me what that is? You're going to think I'm mental. More than once when I've looked into it, I think I've seen Dumbledore. Bloody hell, that's a sight. 
<laughs> well, how do I look? Hideous. <laughs> That's the look I was going for. <laughs> That's the goal. Do you hear from the others much? From the Order? The Order's finished. You know who has won. Whoever says otherwise is fooling themselves. We need to get into Hogwarts tonight. Your brother gave me a job to do. Did he now? No, I reckon not. Piece of advice. My brother's dead. Oh, unless you fancy joining it, I would forget about any job he gave you. Professor Dumbledore cared about Harry very much. Because it was the people my brother cared about that tended to get hurt. Mm. Ouch. Hmm. Well, Harry having a little support there. Seamus! Oh, yeah, because they never showed us Seamus! how they did it. You do know what you're doing, don't you? <laughs> Seamus always he had things blow up in his face. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, because yeah, we they never showed that. Yeah, we, we called out they're going to blow the bridge, and they did, but we never saw how they set it up. You shouldn't have. It's Teddy who needs you. He'll sleep till dawn and snore like his father. It's you that needs me tonight. Yeah. Jeez. Nighty night. Look out here, you filthy squid! <laughs> squid. squid. There's <laughs> more work for him. Yeah. These are a lot of quick headers. Yeah. Come on in. Yes? There's something I need to tell you. I don't want you to say anything that you wouldn't say if you weren't about to be killed by a giant snake. It'll just ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Stupid girl. Harry Potter is dead. From this day forth. You put your faith in me. Come forward and join us. Or die. Draco. Draco. Well, I must say I'd hoped for better. Doesn't matter that Harry's gone. Stand down, Neville. People die every day. We lost Harry tonight. He's still with us. And here. They didn't die in vain. It's not over! Fuck up! Oh! Okay. <sighs> Everybody's bailing. All right. All right. So, okay. so that was the big. Right. So, because you guys might not catch what happened there. So, because, and, and, and had you caught what happened, it would have been a. <sighs> And and I don't know that we're gonna find this scene. I don't even know if it's shot. I've I watched the explanation and then I saw it. What's happening there is Harry's not holding a wand at the time Hagrid is carrying. Oh! Him. And so when Harry comes out of Hagrid's arms, Draco comes and throws Harry his. And wand. that's when he that's says when Potter. Oh yeah, I didn't out, catch that. Pot. It's hard to see in this scene. I. Yeah. I knew. I was wondering why he was running by him first, yelling Potter. So yeah, we just again, do it so quick. I watched huh? all the videos. So I watched um, the first time I watched the deleted scenes. It was with a channel that was narrating what was happening. Oh, so he was okay. explaining that he was throwing it. And so when that happens, I, I you know, you think they would have shot it a little bit clearer, like a slow motion. The one, yeah, right. and Harry catches and it. it. Yeah. And, and look, maybe there are some some scenes out there, but I, these guys, I didn't get the reaction that, <laughs> that I was waiting for from these guys. But yeah. it happens so it's quick. A, it's, just it just happens so quick. It was, yeah. so we got the reaction from from you telling us. Yeah, so when he he's said Potter. Throwing. Draco is throwing Potter his wand so Potter can take on Voldemort. Well, I was saying him as a good guy. I'm like, where is he? Yeah, yeah like I kept waiting go, Oh, Potter, wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Sleepy kins. And then just runs off. No, I didn't know yeah. that. Obviously, yeah, because so, there's no clear shot. Yeah. And I mean, I, I'm glad they had that in there because they were teasing us kind of the whole time, time yeah, about okay. Draco making that turn. And he was very hesitant to go with his parents and everything. Fair. So, gosh, I almost... 
feel like they should have kept this in. Uh, yeah. So for me, yeah, of all, yeah. So for me, of all the deleted scenes that um, th- that I watched that were taken out, this was far and away the most important that they should have left in. Um, the um, you know Dudley and uh, you know and Petunia kind of coming to amends with Harry a little yep. bit in part one. I think it was important. Again, shows them, you know, just having some remorse for treating yep. him the way they did. Really humanized them. But this entire story, from um, the Sorcerer's Stone all the way through the end, Draco was a very main character. The Dursleys were an important part of the story, but they weren't a main main focus like Draco Malfoy was. And we saw later in the movies, Quinn, like you said, we saw Draco start to turn and we saw him start to have some guilt um you know before dumbledore passed Mm -hmm. obviously snape stepped in and he did it but we know draco was supposed to and we saw him even the hesitance right here you could tell he had that moment but he went with his parents um and i think that moment was really important because it's again it's all about redemption yeah and as you guys have heard me talk about before this may be one of the biggest lessons in the movie, and it's discussed at at, at length um, by other people who have reaction channels and just people who really love Harry Potter. Um, and we're not going to, you know, we, we react to movies here, right? We have fun, movies, TV shows, but you can't watch Harry Potter, as we've said before, without having serious discussions. And now, one thing we're never going to do here at Bad Medicine is get political, ever. Um, but I don't think racism is a political discussion. It's a be a good human being discussion. So please understand that. The mud blood and them looking out for people who weren't of pure blood, that was racism. That's a, a euphemism for racism. The way they did it was very, you know, Germany propaganda style, which of course was looking for Jewish people. Um, and I think the, the big lesson here is we see Draco grow up hating mud bloods. Mm-hmm. And this is this is this is real life. Um, hate for other races and racism is not something that you're born with. It's something that you're taught. And when your parents instill that in you at a young age, as we saw here in the movies, that's how you think. That's how you act. Mm-hmm. And until you start growing and maturing and becoming your own person, and you get out in the world and you start realizing, like okay, these are my parents and I love them, but what they've raised me to believe isn't how the world is and it's not what I believe. And I think that's exactly what we see in real life. I mean, unfortunately, you have parents who don't necessarily teach their kids to love everybody when they're young and kids grow up racist and they either continue that tradition with their kids or they get out in the world and they realize that there's other good people around them that are different from them. And they try to have their own sense of redemption, regardless of what their parents still may believe. And that's what we're seeing here with Draco. I think over the years, you know, he was pretty much a jerk and Mm -hmm. a a good handful of the movies. And as he gets older, maybe he starts realizing, you know what? Potter's a good person. Hermione's a good person. Even his treatment of Ron Weasley for not having as much money as his family, you know, you start having regrets. And it's such a real world lesson and again we've watched these movies over and over and we talk about like peel away hogwarts peel away the wizard talk peel away the magic and the wands and the patronums and stuff like that and you have very real world lessons and this was a very real world lesson about racism about being um taught to hate other people for who they were just born as and the fact that as you grow up and you have your own experiences, you can change your mind. If you grow up with parents who teach you to think one way from birth, look, you're going to think, you're not going to come up with your own, you know, identity or your own mindset by the time you're 10 or 12 years old. You're going to think what your parents think, but he's old enough here to start making up his own mind and his own decisions of what's right, wrong, and how to treat people. And he does. And this end scene was very much redemption for him. And this is the one scene that I really feel of all the scenes. Um, I have a hard time comprehending why. Yeah, why it was taken. They pulled out. it out, and I watched a lot of videos, <laughs> and I didn't see anybody have any real insight as to why 
this would have been pulled out. Of course, we saw, I don't know if maybe his hesitance or when they were walking away, you know, he kind of brushed off his dad. I don't yeah. know if that was for the director and for J.K. Rowling enough implication that he had changed the hesitance he had, the internal struggles we saw. Yeah, because that's that was pretty the, similar to how he was for the that's last. That's the only year thing. Now. That's the only thing that I can think is that look, we implied that maybe he was in his process of changing, and you know maybe it was, you know they didn't need this big moment. That was enough. He's changing, and as he grows, he'll change more. And when we saw in the end, you know, when they were dropping their kids off, he kind of gave them a nod. And so you start to think, OK, yeah. maybe he's a nice guy now. Yeah. And maybe that was their way of doing it. But for me, this was um, was huge, huge redemption. And uh, I guess I just feel like they should have they should have left it in. Maybe they took it out because the audiences they tested it on, like me and the answer didn't didn't, yeah, catch, they, they it. didn't catch it. I thought he was just like drawing a diversion or something like that real quick. And then like you said, we didn't catch it. Well, so be, maybe well, because then the thing is, is then the, next scene differently. They, the next thing they show is them, the Malfoys walking away together on the bridge. So, th so he's running away. And then the next shot, they show them three walking together. So I guess it might've been well, continuity. continuity. They might, yeah. yeah. They might've shot it messed up and which I have a hard time wrapping my head around yeah. because the, the, this, <laughs> this was like this the, the finale well, of a decade I'm of sure, movie making. I'm sure they just shot it each different ways. Yeah. And, you know, you wanted that slow the motion of the wind flying yeah, yeah. and Harry grabbing it and boom. And um, <laughs> dropping it off a snake. Oh, um, but we didn't get it. But um, like I said, of, of all the, lessons petunia and and dudley that was important there were some other important things that uh that uh got left on the cutting room floor but i really feel like this was one that should have been left in especially look if you have this important of a lesson to teach and this is what we get from these movies they're they're amazing life lessons mm -hmm. and look the 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 notion that racism is not something you're born with it's something that you're taught this is a, a very heavy topic um, but it's also very important to discuss and they could have shown, you know, cause they're, the thing, look, the, the, the reality is about this is there's, there's teenagers that are watching this who are, are literally living this. Okay. Um, and y people watching this, you might've been one of those people where, you know, your parents would say stuff and make comments and, and tell you how to think and how do you to feel about other people and, and, and you might be like, oh, my, you know, I love my parents. Wow, they need to, you know, get with the times mm. and, you know, start, like, changing how they act. And you see this and think, like, oh, my God, like, that's me. I was, I, I you know, my, and, and whatever, we've said multiple times that, and you guys have commented, like, you like our in-depth discussions here. <laughs> and so sometimes when I feel like I'm talking too much, you guys in the Potterverse seem to really appreciate it, which makes me feel good. But I, I'm just going to comment on this because, I, 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 again, I think it's important. My, I grew up – my my father um, graduated high school in 1964, was in the military until 1968, a very, as you know, tumultuous time. My stepfather graduated high school in 1963, was in the military until 1967. I'm 42 years old. I have never once – my dad passed last year. Um, in 41 years, I never heard my dad race, make a racist comment. My stepdad is 76 years old, grew up in a small town in Wisconsin, spent four years on an aircraft carrier in the 60s. Hmm. I'm sure, I'm not going to pretend like he was a saint, but if he had any sort of whatever, you know, thoughts or whatever notions about him. other races, I never once heard it growing up, ever. My father nor my stepfather... In, in 40 plus years, I never heard a single racist comment from both of those. And I don't know. Look, they grew up in the 60s. They might think one way, but I would never know. Mm. And I feel very lucky in that. And when you watch this and you watch Draco's parents raising him to hate, oh, they're, they're, mm. they're not pure blood people, so they're no good. It sucks, right? Yep. But look, there's people out there who that's the they how think. their parents are. And that's how they think. And this movie shows you, like, look, it's okay to like change your mind even yeah, be, if, become your own man so even if it takes until you're 17 or 18 or 25 or 50 it's never too late in life to say you know what i was wrong how i felt about other people and uh and just 
you know, work harder at being a good person. And for all the lessons that this, this series has taught us, and it's been a ton of ones about believing in yourself and showing others that you believe in them and doing the right things in the face of adversity, the lesson to not be a racist asshole uh, is is a pretty important yeah. lesson. It's a pretty put on the cutting room is floor. a pretty yeah. important <laughs> lesson, and, that and not one that should have been left implied. It yeah. should have been left. Shown. This this is who Draco became, and so I don't know. Uh, again, it's it's very hard for me to comprehend mm-hmm. why this particular scene didn't make it into the final cut. Yeah, because I mean, like I said, this is the big finish to one of the biggest movie franchises in history. You'd think you want to nail every last detail on the finishing well, sequence and that's what i'm saying I have, I have a hard time believing they're like ah you know we didn't really get that shot of draco throwing the yeah. wand so we'll just cut it i uh, there's got to be something else going well, on and maybe we can look into whether that or not it was in the book yeah that guys in the comments if that was in the book or if you know some more theories about yeah, why oh that was God. maybe pulled i'd listen to I'm, let us know I, guys i'm i consumed a lot <laughs> I consumed a lot of Potter content yeah. in a relatively short period of time. Each one of the uh, each one of uh, Movie Flames episodes about um, the difference between the movies and the books was um, an hour to an hour and a half long. So that was a lot of content. This guy uh, never works. I <laughs> I stayed up late. I watch Potter. I do my uh, I do my morning cardio. I do my cardio yeah. at night after lifting some weights. There you and go. I watch you a lot of weights. I watch a lot of. Potter, I wonder. I wonder how many people at the gym are like, is he, is he watching Potter on his phone? Like, yeah, I am. Um, but no, so it's hard for me. Was it on any of the TVs? It's hard for me to remember uh, all the details from yeah. all the content that I've consumed. But um, well, because I was just saying, because if it was in the book, then it'd be even more of a remiss to not have it in yeah. there. Because that'd be like, come on, you, it's it's right there in the writing. You know, you should show yeah. it or. Or it could have been implied, I guess, another way. I'm, I'm guessing it would have way. been in the book. I mean, I'm fairly certain it would have been in the book if it was a scene that they they sure. shot. There was se- some scenes that they shot. I do remember that weren't in the book, but they shot for certain cinematic purposes. But it's usually the other way around. Yeah. You you have to chop down the content in the books. Yeah. And a lot of the 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 videos that I did watch were were very. Um, very nice and and kind to the directors and saying, look, and basically saying like, Hey, look, uh, it it wasn't, it wasn't discussion. Like the movies sucked and they had the director screwed up by leaving this stuff out of the books. Mm -hmm. There seemed to be a very general consensus. Like each book realistically could have been probably broken into two parts. If you wanted to have the, the movies mirror the books, there's no way to squeeze it into yeah. into that many. Well, like, yeah, like Daniel said, Radcliffe would have been forty. Not yeah. when no, I was just, I was just gonna say. <laughs> now in on, hindsight, they'd still be on like the third book right now. Yeah. In hindsight, I wouldn't have minded sixteen Potter movies, <laughs> um, but you also have child labor laws uh, yep. and things of that nature. Well, Crank them out. <laughs> you could have also made an episodic TV series, but it wouldn't have made it. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is you got to remember. This is the 2000s before yeah. you know Netflix and HBO Max and they yeah, the biggest thing you had was like Sopranos at the time. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. set the bar for yeah, TV on, series. Yeah. You had HBO, I suppose, yeah, but yeah, uh, you had some yeah. TV shows. But uh, yeah, I mean, some. I think the bigger, as far as uh, part one and part two, um, the the heavier deleted scenes were the earlier ones in part one, and then of course this this Malfoy scene in part two. Some comic relief, Ron and Hermione yep. running down the stairs. Don't say it. <laughs> yeah, you know, don't say it. gonna mean it when don't, we're not in this situation. Don't say it. Yeah, but um, you know, and, and we we always say, say what's on your mind. Say what's on your mind, but. When you say it in a situation like that, it doesn't instill a lot of confidence that you're yeah. going to make it out. So nope. it's like, eh, yeah. maybe, maybe bad timing. But, um, yeah. but yeah, some <laughs> some great deleted scenes, uh, for better or worse or otherwise. Um, it was uh, so I can I can think of yeah three to easily keep in would have been obviously Draco and then Aunt yep. and and cousin. Agree. And I think we can. Yeah, I, those I, are I think the, those are the three. I, I mean, also, I wouldn't mind the stone skipping just because, you know, just to show them just yep, break having that little bit of normalcy yep. during everything that like the world is burning down around. Them. The, the yeah, that would have been of why uh, I, I do the explanation of why they don't say Voldemort. I mean, I get it. Like, he's yeah. very scary, but you're well, why? Why wouldn't they just say his name? I mean, if, if if we're just in private conversation, yeah, what does it matter? Why would what does it matter if I if I say his name? And now, 
it um you know if if at this point in the movie um volt they're using it to track where people are you know the the first order of the phoenix in the original war um it could have been it, it could have very well been the same thing so it's, you just have this culture of if you're a wizard you don't say Voldemort. Um, if you... Stop it. Stop saying that. Look, man, dude's been defeated. Potter came through like a boss. There is no more Voldemort. And uh, we're going to, you know what? We're going to, um, we're going to, uh, we're going we'll, to we'll get into, we're going to drop some, yeah. we're going to, we're going to do some more Potter stuff for you guys. I think uh, we're going to have some yeah. discussions. We don't want this to be the end of it. I think we're going to dump into maybe some fan theory. We'll, we'll continue. We'll, stuff. Do, we'll, we'll do a two-month reunion special. Drop a, yeah. here, here's, a, here's something for you. Drop a comment below. We're not. I don't think uh, uh, any of us uh, is ready for um, Potter to be done. Um, yeah. So Yeah, well, I can't think uh, of like Potter the later years. Now yeah, I don't like think. Bong, well, we do have the fantastic. <laughs> we do have the Fantastic Beast movies, yep. which we've heard mixed reviews. Yeah. There's a thousand percent chance that we're going to do those. Uh, we're working on some Hobbit stuff right now. We have a couple other things that we had by um, direct request and through polls uh, on Patreon. But we promise you, sooner we than listen. later, we'll get to the Fantastic Beast movies. But in the in the meantime, as well. Um, drop a comment below on some videos you'd like to see. Um, I would love to do some videos talking about fan theories because boy, there's some good ones. There's some dark ones. There's some wild ones. And I've got some Potter stuff to say, <laughs> um, but other no. videos that you guys would Does like he? to see. I, I haven't noticed. I thought he was done. <laughs> other videos that you guys would like to see. Wait, about... I blacked out for the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like an old school. I blacked out. Where was that? <laughs> All things Potter that you guys would like to see us um talk about um i would like to uh aforementioned that we are not experts we haven't all read the books i am no. going to be starting on audiobooks um but as uh we've discussed some of them are 20 plus hours long yeah. uh it's going to take me a minute to get through the audiobooks so unfortunately those aren't videos we're going to be able Solid. to make right away yeah, he's got it done. <laughs> well, hey uh, you, you know you got a son to take care of right <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah you know a local <laughs> way room that he go to is 24 7. Is anybody, he's just like, hi i'm going to the gym is anybody, it's Tuesday. <laughs> where are has anybody seen david shy like a scraggly beard <laughs> beard, 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 beard like, haven't like, showered in a week just <laughs> just sucked in but uh we've had a lot of fun i, I walked 158 miles yeah. <laughs> hey, he's been here like <laughs> Six hours. He's down to like two hey, ten. Hey, right? Leave me alone. Yeah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I got a solid hour to go. Yeah, just leave me alone. Coming uh, up to a good to part. It. But we we want more Potter, and if you guys want more Potter, we will give for. you more Potter. But uh, speaking of more Potter, we will get to some more Potter real quick. But for right now, that's Appleton Oak. That's Mason Quinn. I am of course the answer. You spell redemption D R A C O. Good night, pal. <laughs> <laughs>